So now with ChatGPT, you can make flyers for your business or your personal use. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how I was able to create these flyers. You can create any kind of flyer that you want. These are just examples of what I've come up with and what you can do with them and the sky's the limit as to what you want to do with them, whether it be for a church rummage sale, a bake-off, whether it be an estate sale or a garage sale, anything, you can make these flyers and they look really, really nice. ChatGPT does a really good job at creating the text and making sure that they look the way that you want them to look. So I'm going to show you a few that I did. And this one was create image of a flyer for a garage sale with these details. Make it look nice and colorful. So this is just dummy info that I put in here. So it's at 1234 Main Street, Anytown, USA. It's going to be on Saturday, April 26, 2025. From 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. It's going to have a lemonade stand. It's going to be held rain or shine. And it contains appliances toys and baby clothes and this is what it's come up with so as you can see garage sale is in great big print so everybody can see that it's a garage sale it gives where it's at it gives the time and date here also the features that i told it to give was that it has a lemonade stand rain or shine appliances toys and baby clothes all the text here is correct and it's easily readable the only change that i could possibly make here with this is the text here in the middle that gives the actual street address and the city name is a black text on this dark red so i may have want to stick it in the canva and make sure that it's a white text or something like that to make it a little more easier to read but other than that that looks good to me so the next one i did was create an image for a flyer for a birthday party celebrating caitlin's fifth birthday it'll be at the church fellowship hall on saturday april 26 2025 6 p.m to 8 p.m it should have a cartoonish look and appeal to kids make the text easy to read so in this one i made sure i told it to have a cartoonish look here so that it will look really nice for kids looking at it and this is what it's come up with so in really really big font here it's got caitlin's fifth birthday it's got a picture of a birthday cake with confetti all around it's going to be held at the church fellowship hall saturday april 26 26 p.m to 8 p.m so it really did a really good job at making sure that everything stands out all the text is in real big font and that it's appealing to kids and it has that cartoonish look that i wanted and I did one more for you here. This one I wanted to do for a lemonade stand. And I wanted to have it give prices of this lemonade stand that I wanted to, to do the flyer for. So I told it, create image for a lemonade stand that gives prices with the following. Small cup a dollar, medium cup a dollar fifty, large cup two dollars, and sugar ten cents per packet. The flyer should have a cartoonish look. It should have lemons and cups of lemons on it, cups of lemonade on it make the text easier, easy to read. So I made sure that I told it what I wanted it to look like in this one, that I wanted it to have that cartoonish look. I wanted it to have lemons on it and cups of lemonade on it as well, and also making the text easy to read. And this is what it come up with. Oh, lemonade, I took, put my small cup a dollar, my medium cup a dollar fifty, my large cup two dollars, and sugar ten cents per packet exactly as I wanted to read on here it also put the lemonade in a really nice font where people can read it it also gave me pictures of the lemons and the cups of lemonades like I wanted to do and everything to me is easy to read in here so this is just a little bit of an example of what you can do with the new chat GPT image creator with flyers. Like I said, you can do flyers for your business if you want. You can do flyers for your personal use. You can do it for your church. Guys, the limit with this new text features. Go in and I will put a template for kind of what I did to create these down below in the description. That way you can just copy and paste my template into ChatGPT and make sure to always start with create 
image in ChatGPT. That way, ChatGPT knows that you want it to create an image. You can do this with the free or the paid version of ChatGPT, but just keep in mind that the free version, you're going to get a lot less generations than the paid version will because there is limits in the free version. There are limits in that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like below. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'm also going to give some really good examples of what you can do with the new chat GPT image creator that's giving this awesome, perfect text. I'm doing a lot of cool things with it, and I'm going to be bringing that to you within the next few weeks. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. That way you're notified whenever I create a new video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.